The second LP by Epoch Co, who has also made Dragon Slayer uh, series and uh, also made the Dorymon series. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's a few other series as well by Epoch. But let's play Dorymon the Revenge of the Giga Zombie for the, the NES here. Been lacking on playing NES games. I know you guys have probably been like, yeah, you only play two types of games. Um, that is true. So let's start a new game here. And uh, let's actually delete my uh, previous one here. And let's go to new game. Actually, the message speeds like one. And we're gonna name ourselves JJ. I see JJ Fisher. <laughs> oh, that deleted it. Uh, let's see. Stop doing that, please. Yeah, JJ it is. JJ, we're gonna be a boy because you know can't be JJ and the girl. This is the undead king Giga Zombie. He's reviving dead kings to acquire power in an effort to rule our world once again. A crew of heroes set out to stop him. They traveled in time to find him, but he found out about the twisted time and space. Dermon was spe uh, was separated from his crew, so basically he tried to defeat Giga Zombie by himself, but. He got separated from his crew. Luckily, Dorma made it back to town where uh, he meets me. He's like, where the fuck am I? So he failed. He failed the first time. So come around and now that he has me on his party uh, and getting all the new friends back, we should be able to defeat him this time. Uh, hey, JJ. I must be back in town. Man, you scared me there, Dorma. What's up? Danger. I smell danger. Giga Zombie wants to take over the world. Man, I need my crew badly now. Can you help me find my crew? Please help. Fine. Yes, thanks. So Dorimon joins our party. Whenever you hear that jingle, somebody joins your party. We gotta find the spaceship, time ship, worked by the Devil Dome. We need to find Devil Dome. Let's go, Dorimon. Wait, that was that was cheesy. So yeah, that's our mom, but fuck her. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and talk around here. Um, so yeah, here are the menu options. Um, you can speak, you can search. When you go to Dorimon, you have Dorimi, who will heal your party. Sometimes give you gold. Um, you have your pouch, which usually when you get an item, it goes straight to your pouch. And then you can check out your party members here. And uh, when, another thing, when you go to the pouch, you have to uh, kind of get an item. And you have to give it to one of your party members. So you can't just go to pouch and then just, you know. Um, that's why you have items here. And you also have equip. Um, but these are like for key items. And these is like obviously equipment for when you go to your party. And you go to your pouch. And you go ahead and give it to one of your um, allies to equip. Um, so yeah, I just want to explain that off real quick. And uh, yeah. But yeah, so that's how you equip stuff. Let's speak here. We can find no pizza for you. Thanks for the gold. Um, so yeah, it's I don't play very many Dorimon games, but this one is an RPG, so I gotta test it out. Um, see if it's even worth it. So we're gonna talk around. Talking to your party is important. I don't really have much of a party, but uh, let's check it out anyways. What now, Dorimon? Let's find a way to leave. Okay. So the only way you could possibly leave is to by going to um, is by finding out one of your let me see here. Okay, yeah, going and talking to uh, Brian here. Brian, we are looking for Dorimon's lost friends. Can you help us? Hmm. Try the phone booth north of here. How did you end up in this village? Uh, in our ship. It's it's down here somewhere. You'll need a hammer and a helmet. This will help you out. So we get the Lucrane hammer and uh, the steel armor. I'm correct. Yes, okay, still helmet. So let's give that to... We're gonna give that to Dorimon. And uh, so... And you're probably gonna be wandering out right like in a bit. Because we're gonna get more armor and stuff like that. And you're probably gonna be gonna be wondering like, why do they give us like three pieces of... Uh, three pieces of armor and we only have two party members. Which is obviously a foreshadow of something. So I'm just gonna play the game here. And uh, yeah, so you set the phone booth uh, north of here. This looks like a phone booth to me.
Uh, one thing to mention that uh, phone booths are one way only, so you cannot re-enter a phone booth. It's a one-time only thing. And uh, so yeah, let's speak around. My monsters appear. Give Giga Combi cause that. Giga Combi, Giga Zombie, cause that. Let's speak. The world's full of magic users. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's actually equip. Crane hammer. Let's equip JJ with the steel. Oh yeah, let's speak to you as well. This town has a force field. The only way to leave is with a magic user. As you can see, is like this invisible barrier is blocking us. Um, let's talk to this lady right here. Dr. Moon's daughter is missing too. Okay. Um, there's also a known secret right here. If you actually go in front of this tree and search, you will find the stone tablet. And uh, basically what you can do to the stone tablet is you can talk to this magic using cat which uh, removes the barrier uh, because you need a, someone who can use magic and uh, the only person who could use magic in this town is the magic using cat. In order to do that you need to, uh, in order to talk to him, that cat was using magic. Okay see he, uh, they pointed out right here, okay up here in this house uh, we have an old man, head support town, you should find silver there. Why oh, thank you, I will definitely keep that in mind. Uh, if I'm also correct, this house right here, um, no, it's not the right house. Let's find out where that house is. I think it's, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so we got two treasure chests up here, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the whole dragon quest and, uh, chaos world thing where you gotta step on top of things to search and get them uh, you can't just be in front of them so we got a knife the knife is uh, stronger than uh, slightly stronger than uh, of course the hammer so I give the hammer to uh, Dorimon I'm gonna uh, give the knife to me and uh, Dorimon is going to have to get uh, the leather here give it to Dory Let's equip, JJ, knife, still. Make sure to equip after you've done this because it does not automatically equip. Alrighty, next objective. Let's go ahead and head into, um, there is a shop around here as well. Speaking of, let's buy five, uh, let's buy one of each. Just in case. I mean, that's the whole point of them giving you 20 gold. Obviously, you, you might have to buy stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and cross this bridge over here. As you can see, there are all, there's a magic portal here, but that's this is uh, this is for later. Um, then you can do that. So this is the mansion. And uh, immediately, uh, you're going to go up here and you're going to see uh, Nobito. That's right. It's Nobito right there. Um, let's go ahead and search here. We found a fishing cap. And search here. And we found a pendant. It's going to speak. It has been stoned, so you cannot speak. Uh, before we do that, we're going to go all the way off here to the right here because there's a secret. If you move one panel off to the right, you completely leave the castle. So watch out for that. Um, I'm going to go with uh, pouch here. Go with fishing cap and give that to JJ. Okay, knife. That. The pendant gives him more defense. So, yeah, alright. So, immediately, like I said, you want to walk off to the right here and uh, make sure you go one up and then go all the way through here. And uh, you'll notice that there's this little secret entrance here. And this is how you get to a treasure chest here. So, you can search and get even more weapons here. We get a broadsword, which is way stronger. And we also get a small bell. Um, you can speak right here, and uh, it'll tell you that this gate is actually locked. And if you look over there, that is Miyoko, um, our new party member. So I hate to spoil it, but it's the truth. Uh, pouch here. Let's go ahead and give the broadsword to 
Not Dory. I didn't mean to give it to Dory. Fuck Dory. Give that shit to JJ. So yeah, we're gonna have to be doing a lot of item managing around here because obviously, as you can see, uh, we have uh, a lot of items on us. So the broadsword gives us more of that. That okay. Get to Dory. Okay, now let's get Dory's equipment up to par here. With the knife and the steel and the pendant. Okay, let's just walk off here. Enter back in. And this time follow the path to the right way. Hello there, Miyoko. So the only way you can speak to her is by using your item here. Um, go to your pouch, go to your, uh, and use stone tablet. Hi, Miyoko! Miyoko? I'm hiding from the evil king. He has my father. I must find him. We need, uh, we'll need the arrow. Let's go and find it then, Miyoko. I'll join your group. Another one. So they well equip you in this game, by the way. Uh, if that hasn't been noticeable to you, uh, let's give this to Yoko. And I think what the small bell does uh, is, is actually a heal potion. I'm not 100% um, certain on that. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't really care. Okay, so let's see if that's the case. I think the small bell most likely um, is... It's a healing potion, I'm most likely certain of it. So now we can leave the town here. And uh, let's, let's do so here. And let's go ahead and continue on our adventure. And uh, here we go with uh, the first uh, battle. So this is what the battle looks like, as most NES RPG battles look like. Just a, bl a black screen, but uh, you can at least see your party members here. Um, we don't actually have m magic. Let's go back to have Dory fight. Um, I'm guessing she doesn't have magic either. Didn't think so. So Miyoko has 11 health, Dory has 12, and I have 15. Plus 10 HP. Okay. So grinding is not such, which I will do that offline along with Eternal Legend. So um, it's going to be a while before I come out with part 2 for either of them. Um, Dory, Dory attacks, they had to cut his name down. He lost his turn. Wow, battle is kind of slow, I'm going to say. Lost 4 HP. Grim attacks. But JJ dodges. Let's finish off these Grims here. I don't get how he attacks first. Not complaining. Goddamn. This battle is very slow. I might have to use turbo mode from now on. Um, just kind of take that off in the middle of the battle. Lost 7 HP. Please kill him off. Thank you. I'm gonna fight here. Dorimon, you never really hit. So I'm gonna have to use... Okay, I didn't give anybody the potions. Um, fights. I guess we're all gonna have to fight here. That little crane hammer is kind of putting in work. Um, I'm pretty sure JJ's broadsword is what's really gonna finish this guy off here. Doing 10 damage. 
Alrighty guys, well I will see you guys uh, when I'm done grinding up here and we come back with part 2 of Dorimon Giga Zombies Revenge. Um, Revenge of the Giga Zombie actually is what it's called. Um, so yeah, we'll come back with part 2 here. I'm gonna go ahead and give these items to my party members. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye